Hey guys, I'm Ashley from Funtime Moms and this is a mini DIY video slash mini bathroom makeover video. If you follow me, then you know that I take a lot of baths, especially since we have been in quarantine. And I have been thinking about giving my bathroom um, a little update. I didn't want to spend too, too much money on it because uh, before quarantine, my husband and I plan was to move um, next year. But now since Corona said and quarantine said, uh, that might not be happening, so it will be here for a little bit. And I spent so much time in my tub area, I wanted to make it very zen and just give it a different type of feel, like kind of Moroccan, kind of Middle Eastern feel. I love jewel tones. Um, I call myself a Christian Buddhist. I love Buddha, I love to meditate. So I just decided to incorporate so many things that I have in my home already that I didn't have to buy. Luckily, I didn't have to buy a lot of stuff to do a mini bath for a makeover. The only things that I really had to buy was I bought new curtains and I bought new wallpaper. Uh, I actually did what I call a rough draft. I don't know if you guys remember like when we were in school and we had to turn in the first draft of the paper to go over our, all our mistakes and then perfect it. But my son and I did a rough draft of this same Thing. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Well, first I'm gonna show you what it looked like before. And this is what the rough draft looked like. It looks much better on photographs than it actually looked in person. The wallpaper was kind of jacked up and the curtains that I got were the wrong size so I just tried to finagle it or whatever. But everything else um, was great and fine. So I decided to do it all over again and use everything that I already had. Things that my family's been buying me to help me with my zen during this time. So enjoy the DIY video and enjoy my mini bathroom makeover. Here we have about four, um, actually five vases that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is Gorilla Glue, which I, is really good. The only thing about it is that it takes a while to dry. So I just did the top of all the vases with the Gorilla Glue and then started to stack them all on top of one another. Again, the Gorilla Glue takes a little um, time to dry, so you want to make sure that you're keeping it super still so that it dries straight. So I just did that with all of the vases and continued to stack them up and up and up. So now we have these candle holders from Dollar Tree that I'm going to spray paint with this metallic gold. And I'm also going to spray paint the vases after they've dried. So here they are, all dried and spray painted. As you see, the spray paint kind of um, like ran a little bit. It was super hot that day. So I was kind of pissed, but whatever. Here's another jar that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be using these tops for this project as well. And I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them as well. Here we are, the vases are all dried now. As you can see, it kind of poured a little bit. It kind of looks like honey to me, reminds me of like Winnie the Pooh's honey. <laughs> but it's okay, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, one side is actually a lot better than the other. So I'm gonna take this diamond bling wrap that I got from Amazon. I really love this. And I'm also gonna take this diamond bling wrap from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take it around where, with my glue gun. And I'm gonna put it around where the jars meet. Every other one I'm gonna put the diamond wrap and every other one I'm gonna put the um, diamond flower wrap as well.
it all done all the bling wrap is on I love it again as I said there are a few um, imperfections but it's handmade so of course it's not gonna be perfect now I'm gonna take this flower foam from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree I absolutely love these colors they're so pretty and I'm just going to take off the tags and start cutting them down to size so that they fit into the top of the box. too big to fit inside of the top of the bar so I took my box cutter and tried to cut the foam the flower foam but I just eventually just started breaking it off using the scissors and then I just kind of like stuck it in so that I could place the flowers on top so that they um, stick the flowers inside of the foam so that they wouldn't be you know wobbling all over the place inside of the bars so of course your phone doesn't have to be perfect um, it just needs to fit Here we are, it's all finished and I absolutely love it. So here are those tops all dry with the spray paint. And I wanted to add this like turquoise bling wrap also from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I started putting that on with my glue gun because the bathroom is kind of, like I said, it's gonna be like a Moroccan feel, jewel tones, a Middle Eastern feel, very like Princess Jasmine-y. So I was like, oh, this will be great. I have these vases from Dollar Tree. I left the stickers on the bottom uh, because they're kind of hard to get off with my nails, as you guys can see. And once I fill them up, you won't be able to see them anyway. So we're gonna be putting these right on top of these candle holders that we spray painted earlier. And we're gonna take our Gorilla Glue again, which has a great hold, but it takes a while to dry. So just put a good amount on the candle and put the vase on there. Since the vase lays flat, you know, you don't really need to weigh it down with anything. You just let it sit for, um, I think the thing says five minutes, but I said I let it sit for about an hour. So this is how it looked with the Jewel Tone wrap, and I hated it. So I just decided to leave it gold. And this is the finished look. I absolutely love it. Okay, up next, this is an old diffuser that I got from my mom a couple of weeks ago. I love it. It smells so good, and it comes in 30 different scents. And this is a Buddha salt lamp that my niece got me. All right, let's get to decorating. So these blinds were giving me such a hard time to try to take them down. So I just decided I'll come back to that later. So I grabbed my uh, new curtains. I was watching SVU, so I'm all up into the screen if you didn't watch it. Took my wire cutters took the curtains off and started to put those up. I love this color. It's such a beautiful blue turquoise. Um, it looks a little lighter on here. It's a little darker in person, but I absolutely love them. They're perfect, much better than the original ones that I got from my rough draft. Move to the next side. All done putting the curtains up now it was time to put up this buddha painting that i got on amazon i love it i'm obsessed with this it calms me during my bath time i was banging a little hard now i put it up and i absolutely love it the picture started rocking so i started dancing along with the picture it's crazy like that now on to decorating the rest of the bathroom. This is a tray I got from Home Goods about a year ago. I love Dr. Teal's love, love, love for my bath time. So if you ever want to give me a gift, that's a perfect gift to get me. This is a body oil and a scrub that I often use. 
And these are some giveaways that I've been given over time. This is a bath tea by one of my friends, Erin. Her line is called The Art of a Savage. It smells so good. This is a, a candle that my sister got me. A picture of me and my baby. This is another tray that I got from Target a while ago. I actually ended up taking this out. But oh my god, look at these. How cute are these glasses I got from Home Goods about three years ago? This was my favorite color. Alicia just got me this Buddha a few weeks ago. I love them. This candle smells so good. Somebody got it for me around Christmas. I can't remember who. I'm sorry. This is from Bed Bath and Beyond. It's so cute. This vase I got from Home Goods, I think, a few years ago. It's huge, it's heavy. This three Buddha candle holder is also from Home Goods. And I fill it up with these Dollar Tree tea candles. I have them in a bunch of colors too. Okay, this statue head is super heavy. Someone gave it to me a few years ago. I absolutely love it. Whenever you buy me a gift, I am sure to use it. All right, and now this candle holder I've had for 13 years. I love it, love it, love it, and I just stacked a bunch of candles on top of it. Um, I didn't really like it on this side of the bathtub, so I decided to move it in the middle. If you are gonna put it here, be careful, because as you see, there are curtains right behind it, and you do not wanna catch on fire. These candle holders are from Home Goods, I think, or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. So this is the bathroom, all lit up all complete and I love it it's so relaxing being in there when I'm in the tub I absolutely love it this is my DIY vase all complete it's so pretty I hope you guys like the video make sure you follow me at Ashley Brittany and of course at Fun Time Moms, and our podcast is coming back this July, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and I'm sure if you follow me, like I said, I'll be talking to you a lot from here, and I'll be sure to, uh, I guess, get, maybe give you some pictures of me. Yeah, I was